the thing I love about adventure racing is that races recalibrate what I do and how I handle everyday stressors. When I go through really intense situations in an adventure race, uh, I then come home to things that have normally stressed me out with being stuck in traffic or things at work or whatever, and I, I realize that it, it's not that big of a deal. I'm involved in a lot of endurance activities. I do a lot of running, ultra marathons, and cycling. Um, a lot of centuries and long mountain bike and road bike uh, rides, and I use those for training for adventure racing, which is a sport where either as a soloist or with a team, you have a map and compass, and you have to find checkpoints in the woods, uh, either by foot, by bike, or on canoe or kayak. And sometimes there's rock climbing or mountain climbing, rappelling involved. Um, they'll add in various fun activities to try to make it interesting. But that's what motivates me to work out. The experiences I had growing up that led me to find a home in adventure racing was growing up in Lake Tahoe, California. Uh, as a nature playground. Um, spent a lot of time in the woods playing with my friends or on my own walking up creeks, jumping from rock to rock, or just exploring the woods in various ways. The thing I really connect with uh, when it comes to adventure racing or training for doing adventure racing is obviously the, the amount of time that I have to spend in the woods training for the races, which can last upwards of 11 days. Um, and that process of spending time in the woods uh, nourishes and feeds a part of me that uh, I don't get anywhere else. And the thing that I love about the actual act of racing is the voluntary suffering that we go through ends up being a catalyst for recalibrating my everyday experience. So the challenges working with a team or the challenges in the middle of a race where you're trying to find a checkpoint or physically being challenged in ways that uh, are very outside of the normal experience allows me to come back to my everyday stresses of being stuck in traffic or dealing with uh, family issues or uh, work issues uh, and I bring a different set of mental skills to those situations that I've learned on the race course having to deal with that sort of intense uh, environment and so I'm able to apply those lessons to my life and it allows my life to feel uh, more balanced and more peaceful. My son, Evan, uh, after watching Eco Challenge, came up to me and asked me to put on a race for him and his friends. So, going to be brutal. We need to find five pieces of the map. Alright, this one's the other one. You don't need it perfect. Where do you think we should go? Nice. Next time we do the race, I'll have a decent tube that won't break. And then I fell again, trying to get to the right rapids. <laughs> I actually can't get up. I actually can't get up. <laughs> All right, so 
raise it. Show of hands. Who, who wants to do this again? Me, me, me. The whole genesis of Grit Adventures started during that race where they were floating down the river um, in life you can do it. Uh, rafts. And they were, two of them were popped and they were, they were laughing and, and they were trudging down the river and some people were on the, the river bank uh, watching the kids go through this crazy experience and they turned to me and asked me what program I was with and I said I'm not you know I'm just doing this for my kids and their friends and they said if this isn't a program in a year I'm gonna be really upset um, and so that was it planted a seed that maybe this should be a thing with the, after the encouragement of my wife and my friends I just started building the foundation of what the mental curriculum was going to be and, and how I was going to pair that with all the adventure racing skills. Yeah, so we're teaching the kids the basic uh, bike skill, how to brake, how to corner, how to shift, how to do the, the, the real essentials so that when they go to the trail, they're prepared um, physically to handle all the different obstacles and the terrain that they're going to be facing for their adventure race. All part of the grit. Resilience. So when you bounce the tennis ball against the concrete, right, it bounces right back. So that, that act of bouncing on something hard represents a challenge in your life, right? So you want to be the tennis ball. When you have adversity or a challenge in your life, you want to be that tennis ball. All the way down. All the way down. One of the things that was really important to me early on was making sure that there was diversity in the program. So it was really important to me to find partners and other coaches to get involved who are females and people of color so that there was representation of um, kids who are really wanted to bring into the program. So I have scholarships for kids who can't afford it, um, for girls trying to diversify the program so it's not just the typical um, demographic of what you see in adventure racing. Um, so I've been actively looking for and reaching out to um, non-traditional uh, mountain biking communities. We've had I think a lot of success in getting a lot of girls in the program and uh, a lot of uh, diversity in the program, which is great uh, for the sport, but also for the community, because I, I feel like there's um, not an awareness of what other options there are for kids who haven't found a home in traditional sports. I have a colleague that works with Jesse in some capacity where um, they work to uh, provide children who are underserved with bicycles. And so he alerted me to this camp that Jesse had, which was grit, which I didn't know about at the time. And um, I reached out to Jesse after looking at his website because of the pandemic. Um, my son, Kyrie, who's a third grader, has really just been disconnected from his friends, like most children during this time. And so we were looking for a way to get him out of the house and with someone who's responsible and safe. And um, that is how we came upon this camp. But what he's gotten out of it is much more than what I was expecting. I was thinking he'll get out, he'll get some fresh air, he'll meet some kids, it'll be great. But really he's learning just resilience. He's learning how to be independent and at the same time learning how to collaborate. He's learning how to be persistent. Um, it's been a really good camp for him to learn cycling skills, navigational skills, um, um, critical thinking skills, but most importantly, and is the best surprise, is that it's really teaching him how to be a better person, and that is not what I thought I was paying for. I thought I was paying for a really cool bike camp, but with Jesse and the folks that he's been able to put in front of these kids, he's really becoming um, more responsible and just a better human being, and you know, I can't beat that as a parent. I just can't beat that. What we've seen with a lot of the kids who have done the program is they'll come in completely unsure and shy and reserved about what the program's going to be, what they're going to experience, and some kids are reluctant to even join the, the group discussions at first. And we've seen with a lot of kids that, you know, by the second, maybe third week of the program, they join the group, they engage in the conversations, and they really, they start to see the results and the benefits of what the program has to offer and how it applies to their life. And by the end of the program, a lot of the kids have really changed and developed in, in surprising ways. And some kids come in with a, a bunch of grit already. Little Tanner, eight years old, nine years old, I think, about 10 minutes into the race, stepped into a mud hole and the mud hole ate his shoe. So he did 90% of the race with no shoes and they got second place. I didn't even think about doing this until you uh, 
you your performance today, but I'm gonna give out a grit award. So this is, this is called the Grit Adventures race, right? You get the grit award for doing 90% of the race <laughs> with no shoes. So here's Whoa. a coin that says, "That's awesome. You are awesome. Thanks. You earn every bit of that, man. I am really impressed." <laughs> but there's some kids who really struggle socially or um, with anxiety, and I've heard feedback from a lot of parents of those particular kids that this program has given them a lot of skills and um, tools to thrive in ways that they didn't, that they weren't before. And especially given the mental health toll that a lot of kids have gone through over the pandemic, um, parents and kids have come up to me and said very pointedly that this program has changed their, their, their the way they, they function and the way that they they interact with things and they just they are more resilient which is the point of the program so it's been hugely rewarding Facebook. I saw a video um, of the program and saw what the kids were doing and I thought it looked really cool. Uh, the whole resilience thing really got me excited. There is an event down there, so I thought it would be really awesome for my kid to learn, uh, you know, basic skills about bikes and do some of this team with these team building exercises, um, but it became so much more than that. It's such an amazing program. It's a culmination of six weeks of training and preparation. The teamwork aspect is really wonderful. Um, learning skills that I think a lot of us, you know, didn't learn growing up or have kind of been lost along the way. You know, how to read a map, how to use a compass. Those things are really, really cool and exciting. And I'm so glad that my kid had a chance to, um, to learn those things. When we normally live our life going from conditioned to conditioned spot, where we go from our air conditioned car to our air conditioned house. Uh, we never experience life outside of this fairly limited uh, comfort zone. And doing these races, um, especially when you're having to push your bike or carry your bike up rocky uh, sides of hills or um, it's raining and you're cold and you're paddling on a river and there, you're going into a headwind and you're shivering and you don't know how much longer you have to go. Uh, having to dig deep and find that mental fortitude to push through and to see yourself through the finish line um, is extremely challenging. And the lessons I've learned and the ways I've been able to apply those lessons into my everyday life uh, are invaluable and you can't experience from reading a book. You have to do. And it's those moments that I've experienced the really, really low lows allows me to really fully experience the, the highs. Um, and without that wide spectrum of experience, I feel like living in that middle, um, that middle smaller wavelength of, of existence isn't as fulfilling to me. And so um, you can't always live up here at the top, um, you have to have you have to have that other side of the coin of peak experience and and the, the valley experience. And I've never I've never had another experience in my life that gives me that range of emotional and physical experience that I've had during an adventure race. If someone on your team is struggling um, to go up a hill or is struggling emotionally or mentally, make sure that you're there for your teammates, right? If you have to carry someone's weight, if you have to push up someone's bike, if you have to rally them, if you have to say some positive things to them, make sure that you are taking care of your teammates, right? If you see another team out there that's struggling or needs help, make sure that you take care of them. That's the primary goal is to finish this race and to have fun and to test all the things that you've learned over the last six weeks on this course. Generating. I Resilience. I will bounce back from my first race. Independence. I am alive and confident. Tenacity. I am persistent and determined. Grit. I am mentally physically tough. Nice.
Think about those things when you're out on the course. Three, two, one, go! There's a series of, I believe, 16 checkpoints. Eight are on bike, eight are trekking, so on foot. Uh, some are going up a river. Some are on trails. Some are bushwhacking down towards a pond like we have here. Um, and the kids have to work together to navigate and use their maps to figure out where they are. Uh, a lot of kids came to the checkpoint asking what checkpoint they're at, where do they go to the next checkpoint, and we would just tell them, look at your map, figure out where you are and uh, where you need to go. I'm involved in the program because one, I'm a good friend of Jesse's and I think that there's a lot of mental skills that he can teach my daughter. I also love the fact that she's learning navigation skills. She's fine tuning her um, mountain biking skills and she's just having a ton of fun meeting new people. If kids aren't having fun, they're not going to continue to do it and they're not going to be engaged and learning those gritty skills that a lot of parents want their kids to come away with. Some of the best moments I've had in this program is seeing kids who were reluctant to, uh, to, to engage in the program or we'd be on a hike or a bike ride and they'd be the last ones coming or they'd be kind of complaining about having to, to do something. And by the middle or the end of the program, they are all in. They are the ones encouraging their teammates. They're the ones actively engaging in meaningful discussions when we're talking about goal setting or problem solving or whatever other mental skills we're talking about. I love this program. I can't wait to see where it's going. I think um, it really impacts children's lives and um, I just, I can't wait to come back. I can't wait to bring my second and my third kid to the program. Um, I think it really does make a difference. I saw a big change with my son from beginning, um, really after the first time going out. I saw him change as a person. I think he really came back uh, more confident, um, willing to push his own boundaries, uh, which is really what I was looking for. So this is great. This is phenomenal. It's everything and more that I hope for. So seeing that progress, seeing the kids who really step into, um, into the program and buy into what, what we're doing. and. Um, that really is the most fulfilling part of the program for me. G -R -I -T -A -A.